We've got the Raptor in the shed today. They're looking over what you actually get in the kit. The vehicle I'm doing the left hand side now, so it's gonna go like that. Connection here to the chassis is right here. In behind the grill there is where the trans cooler goes. So we're gonna be putting some lights on the front of the Raptor. Been contemplating what way I wanted to go about putting lights on the Raptor, and I wasn't really sure. There was a few different options for me to go with. There was a few light bars that go behind the grill, um, but obviously I've uh, been working a lot with laser lamp uh, with those guys, super high quality lights. I'm running them on the F truck. I've got their Sentinels on the front of the F truck and also got one of their triple R's along the front of my rooftop tent on the roof. And then got a couple of their work lights on the side of the roof rack. So I hit the guys up at Laser Lamps and I asked them if they had anything coming for the Raptor. They said yes. And they have two options they've just come out with. So they've got two triple R's that sit in the grill. I'll put up some photos now what that looks like. And then they've also got a single front light uh, that you can fit as well, depending on what option you want to go for. So there is, there is a reason why I'm going with this kit rather than putting one behind the grill. And a couple of reasons for that is Putting a light bar behind the grill, um, it's gonna look nice and neat and flush. You're not gonna have the light bar sitting on the front of the vehicle, but then also it's gonna cast a lot of shadows from the light bar. Sure, you'll get a lot of light coming from the light bar, but then you're also gonna have the grill in front of it that's gonna maybe hinder with that lighting. You're also gonna run into the issue if you're looking to do the uh, Herod Performance upgrade kit, the trans cooler actually sits in the grill on the Raptor behind there, so that could be a problem as well because it upgrades the intercooler, so the factory intercooler gets swapped out for a PWR one, and then you also have an upgraded trans cooler as well that goes behind the grill for the transmission. And there should be enough room for me to fit these triple R's that I have here today from laser lamp. So, because it's only gonna protrude into there by say 50 mil or something, it's gonna actually protrude halfway because these lights actually just sit just, just front of the grill. So this is the triple R that I'm gonna be running. So I've got two of these that I'm gonna be running on this kit. So Laser has a bunch of integrated grill kits available for most of the dual cabs on the market and heaps of other four wheel drives as well as SUVs. So I'll have everything in the description for Laser Lamps if you wanna get on there and see if they have a kit for your Hilux, for your D-Max, uh, for your BT50. Whatever you're looking to do, they should have an integrated grill kit for your Pacific four wheel drive. So essentially you get this box which comes with all these pieces here. So these are all the molded sections that are actually gonna clip into the grill and then recess the lights into the grill. So these are all made as per each grill from the manufacturer. So you've got all these pieces here, you've got your screws, um, your bolts and everything to go in the ends of your actual laser lamp Elite Series or whatever lights they have allocated for that grill integration kit. So I've got the triple R's which are gonna be in this kit. You can actually get a longer light bar if you didn't wanna run two, you could actually run one single all the way across in the triple R series on the Raptor. I wanted to go with the two lights, so I've gone ahead and gotten uh, two individual ones. I just like that look a bit better. These pieces here, so these actually clip onto the grill, give you a nice uh, guide to actually cut the grill. So we're gonna be doing all this today. This is my first time I've ever done a laser lamps integration kit. And then we do have our wiring harness here as well, uh, which will obviously be cutting the switch off and we'll be using the switches that are inside the roof of the Raptor the auxiliary switches so got that as well and then you do have some other components that do just come with these lights anyway um, which we won't be using so you've got some mounting brackets and some other Deutsch style connectors here as well so we won't be using those because they're not part of the integration kit so obviously got the Raptor in the shed today so what I was talking about before about the trans cooler it actually sits in behind the grill on this side here so it's just in behind there. So my lights today are getting sectioned into here. So I'm gonna be notching this section of the grill out. And then the fabricated sections that laser lamp make are gonna mount the light in between here on both sides. So you can either go a full triple R along the front or two individuals if you wanna go that way. And if this is one of the first videos you guys have seen of mine, I have a bunch of Raptor content on my channel. So doing a bunch of mods, got a blow off valve, and a fabulous fabrications intake on this thing. 
So jump over to the channel, plenty of Raptor content on there. There is different sections to this. We're gonna be doing this uh, install today. So I'm gonna walk you guys through on what's actually involved in doing it. So essentially, we've got some templates that laser lamp gives you. So that way I can notch this section out here to recess the light in. And then also on the same side here. And then that way you're cutting it in the right position. Then your molded sections fit perfectly. And then your lights fit perfectly. So it just, it's all streamlined. Everything works great. Then we've also got the wire and harness, which we're gonna do as well. Good thing about Raptors too, you've got the switches in the roof. So I have uh, wires just here that are all pre-ran from factory. And when I have either auxiliary six or five on, they run off the high beam circuit. So as soon as they come on, uh, these lights here will work in with the factory high beam and it's just gonna be absolutely mint. I won't have to do any other wiring. Ford's already done everything for us. So if there's any sections of this that you miss during the video, there is a full installation guide. You can kind of get a look there of what it's gonna look like with the two lights in the front. It's gonna look pretty sick. So they have a full installation guide here with also the wiring harness and everything else as well. So all that's gonna come in your integration kit for the Raptor. Okay, so essentially we're gonna be cutting about through here and also through this section here for the light to fit in. So laser lamp give you these printed sections that basically clip in and give you a really good guide on actually where to cut. So I'm pretty sure that one snaps in there like that. And then that's giving you the perfect guide to just cut straight down there and then you're done. Same as this side, that one goes that way. They just snap onto your grill, 3D printed. So that's gonna give you your guide to cut down there as well. We have the outside one just here. So that one goes just there like that. And then we have this other one for the other side which goes this way, should be a pretty quick quick install. And then we're just gonna run down through here with either a, a little, little saw or something like that, hacksaw blade, something like that, and just cut these sections out now. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna clip it in, and then you're just gonna slide it till the edges hit that center, that center grill mount. So just slide it across. Same with these ones, push them across to the center, and then slide that one across to that outside. Our lights are gonna sit in the grill like that, but they're gonna be recessed back to about this point here. So you'll have probably, I don't know, maybe 60 mil sitting out the front. So you can use a hacksaw blade or whatever you've got. I've obviously got my little little Dremel sort of cutter here. Um, so I'm gonna be using this, this multi-tool to notch my grill out. the uh, last section. So essentially that's how much you're taking out of your grill. Those two pieces there. If I ever wanted to change this and put it back to factory, I'll just buy a new grill. It's just a big bit of plastic, so. So now I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna clean up all these with a file and then we'll get on to actually mounting lights. So if this ends up being an issue for the trans cooler when I do the performance upgrade, uh, with the lights here, I think that I'll just I'll just buy a new grill and put a new grill in. Um, the Raptor has great lights itself, but just I was doing some night driving last night uh, through the bush, uh, through some back roads, and some some lights on the front of this um, would definitely help um, just light up the bush a bit better and uh, just make you see a bit better. And yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna have to weigh that up when I, when it comes down to it whether I do the uh, do the trans cooler, but it sits 
probably back about here. It sits back probably about 150 mil, so I think I'll be fine. And it's kind of just the top of it's about here behind where the light's going. And then the bottom side of the trans cooler kind of goes down here. So the air coming through this section here also feeds it and then also down through here. Okay, so these sections here that we just used to cut it, they're pretty much redundant now. We, we no longer we no longer need those. Uh, so the next section we're going to be moving on to is actually mounting these sections here into the sides of the light bars. So we're going to rip off these triple R covers on the end. This one here is the inside. So the inside one goes to the inside like that and the bigger one goes on the outside like that. Okay, so we've got these sections here that are going to go on the outside of our lights. So we're going to get a washer, put the washer on there. Make sure I'm putting the right washer on there. Yep, by the look of it. I'll just nip them up a little bit. I'll do the other side. So on the lights, the bigger bracket, obviously that's a smaller bracket. The bigger bracket goes to the outside on both lights. If you're looking at the front of the vehicle, I'm doing the left hand side now. So it's going to go like that with the foot going towards the bottom of the grill uh, facing the center. So just in that position, just there. Just like that. So you push the center section in first and then you uh, do the outside after that. And then our screws are gonna go into there, into the grill. And then we have one center screws. All the screws are black. So we're going to slide the middle in and then bang, she just pops straight in, nice and neat. <laughs> it actually looks sick. I was a little bit hesitant about putting these in there, but they actually look so, it looks factory, like clean, tidy. I was a bit hesitant about cutting my grill, but now that they're in there, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. So. Yeah, and like I was saying, if, if I ever change my mind and I don't want the lights in there anymore, just buy a new grill. So we're gonna put in the screws and stuff now, all the black screws, these are the black screws, but these are tamper-proof ones, so they also came with a keyway piece here as well, so that way no one can um, try and take your lights out unless they have one of these keyway, keyway sections. So I'm gonna screw them in into the grill. We're gonna do a, a pilot hole in, so a uh, 3.5 mil pilot hole into there to get the screws in into each thing. So we're gonna do that now. Just make sure it's all pushed back before you drill it and try and get your drill piece. And you can use a center punch if you want, but. Don't have to push too hard. You're only drilling through plastic. Just like that. There is Newton meter specs and stuff in the, uh, in the pamphlet as well on this kit. So the torque specs on those screws, so the torque value is 39 LHIB and three newton meters for the screws. That's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm, I'm interpreting from the instructions. Okay, so now we have our wiring harness. That's the best thing about the Raptors is that it's gonna be so fast and so easy to install this because Ford have listened to all the reviews and like I've spoken to the engineers when they built the Raptor and they're like, yes, we, we absolutely watched so many different videos and heard so much feedback that things like accessories were just a major drama to hook up in your four-wheel drive or, or in your Ranger. So giving us auxiliary switches was the best thing. My F trucks had it and that was like in 2014 when that came out. So it's great now that Ford's listening and we can hook up all these accessories to our Raptor 
and make it such a breeze to do it. This is the harness, pretty straightforward, two plugs. Got the switch here, I'm gonna be cutting the switch off and running it to the, uh, the live feed wire that we have here that Ford's provided for us. I'll show you that here in a second. And then positive, negative on the battery. I'm just gonna mount the relay and that's it, we're done. So these should come out pretty easy. So if you watch my past videos on my Amazon store, I do have these trim removal tools. They make life 10 times easier. Bang, done. Clip is out. You don't have to mess around trying to get things out. And because these are plastic, they don't damage, damage it as well. So it's super, super easier. Super easier, there's a word. What? Okay, so what I've done just here is I've just removed enough clips just there to be able to get the wires. I don't want to remove everything, so I've got the wires just ran just here. So the two plugs up underneath the shroud there. And then we'll plug these, plug these straight in. So one, two. So they will just sit just there like so. I like, I like the laser lamps harnesses. They look real factory. They've got this nice netting around the, uh, the wires. Doesn't look messy. That should be, that should work I think. Yeah, that'll work sweet there. Put all my clips back in now. But all that wiring there's done to the lights. Super easy, just the harness now. Hook everything up and we're good to go. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. I've put the relay just down here there was a perfect little spot for it to go just there right beside the other the other harnesses and the fuse boxes so nice and neat and tidy i'm going to tidy out some of this wiring now but these wires here are your feed for your high beam so they're located right here if you're standing in front of your built ford tough they're right here on this thing you'll see them they'll be tucked down just like that solid yellow is positive black and yellow is negative so that way, if you want to run a high, if you are going to put a bull bar on your Raptor, you can just basically tap into these um, and this will run off the high beam circuit for your high beam. So that way, when you flick your high beam on, your front spotlights will come on with your high beam. So makes uh, makes perfect sense that Ford's done that for us. And there is, if you get into the system on the on your front screen, you can actually go through and find out where all those switches are located, uh, where all the, the wires actually come out. There's different sections around the vehicle where they actually come out to, um, and there'll be positive and negative wires there for you for those switches to run whatever you want. And it'll also give you the amperage of which what the circuits are. So essentially what I'm gonna to use to connect the uh, trigger wire for the lights to the uh, forward wire, I've got these kits here. So basically these are, are waterproof um, and they've also got the solder and everything built in. So I can just run both wires in, heat that up, the solder will melt around it and also make it waterproof. And then I'll put heat shrink over the top. So if you wanna grab this kit, also available on my Amazon store, uh, links are all in the description. So the biggest thing with wiring is always remember to put your heat shrink on there. Otherwise, it's just, it just looks untidy. It doesn't look factory. So I'm gonna feed that wire into there. And essentially, they'll just, they'll mash together into the center there over the solder. And then we'll solder these together and then I'll slide the heat shrink over the top. Now we'll just let that cool a bit before we slide the heat shrink off because sometimes if you slide that heat shrink over too quickly, the, the this end will, because it gets to the hot stuff, it'll start to shrink. So we'll just wait a minute and let that cool a bit. And then we're done. So nice and tidy, it's gonna look factory. I'm gonna push these wires down now as soon as they cool down, push them down there. I'm gonna zip tie the rest of the harness back up. Okay, so we've got our relay mounted. I've just put a bolt through a section behind the radiator there. It's this little bracket there. So that looks nice and factory now. 
Got all the wiring ran down the back side there. Positive back up to the back side of the battery. The fuse is just there on the side. And then we have the negative just here, which I'm about to hook up. And then we have our wires coming out from underneath here, following this cable here. And I've got them tucked down behind the back of the battery there, running back to the relay. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Okay, the what you used to. Always with the new. The same what you used to. I do me, do you. I do me, do you. The same what you used to. 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 The same what you. No, this ain't what you used to. Switching from the bikes to a new coupe. You know I keep some new shoes. Keep it simple, not like you. Right, so I'm just kind of waiting for the uh, the sun to go down. There must be a massive bushfire because the amount of smoke that's starting to set in around me, you can see up behind me on the hill there. So there must be a fire. Hopefully not coming this bloody way, but yeah. So what do you guys think? I actually think it looks sick. Come around the front end, have a look. Oh, get down low. I think it looks really good. I was a bit hesitant that I wouldn't like it, but I do like it now that I've got it fitted. So super clean, looks super factory, but just gives you the full performance of the light instead of having it behind the grill. So I don't really see the point of fitting a light bar unless it's going to actually do the job you need it to do. And fitting one behind it, I like the look of it behind it because it does look clean, but again, you're losing some of the functionality with the light bar. And this just they've done such a good job with that integration kit the front of the car is covered in bugs but it kind of just works eh? looks tough from the side and going off the laser lamps that i've already got now these will be just as good as the rest of them Honestly, the best lights on the market, in my opinion. I suppose while we're waiting for the sun to go down, about 80% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, uh, that actually watch the channel regularly. Uh, so I really want to try and change that. So if you guys like the content, you're liking the Raptor content, everything else I do, please just hit the subscribe button, like the video. I'd never ask you guys to do that sort of thing because I just see if you want to subscribe, you would subscribe, but 80% of the people that watch the channel uh, regularly aren't subscribed. So you might not think it does a lot, but subscribing to the channel just gives the channel way more leverage for future content and stuff that I can do. Um, and it just, it just makes the content that I can bring you guys be even tenfold better than the content now. So the more subscribers, the more content I can produce. If you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, sun's starting to go down. So hopefully in the next few minutes, we'll be seeing how these lights go. How cool is the moon over there? Looks so sick. So that's the standard high beam headlights. And now we'll throw on the laser lamps. So give me way more lighting. Cameras don't really do light justice. It's really hard to determine it with a camera, but it's so much better with the lasers on there. Like I mentioned, the Raptor's got good lighting standard, but just that extra bit just makes a massive difference. That's them off again, back on. Looks awesome, so good. That moon is absolutely massive tonight. So if you guys want to get this kit for your Ranger Raptor, I'll have everything down in the description. So jump in there, check it out. Also hit up my website, buy some merch, buy a hoodie or a hat or something, buy a sticker, help support the channel. And yeah, please subscribe, like the video and share it with your friends if they've got a Raptor too. And I'll catch you guys in the next either Raptor content or whatever else I'm doing. See you later.